Hi, Ronik here. So in this video, we'll be learning how to make a basic paint application from scratch using the turtle module in Python. So let's get started. First, we'll have to download it. So if you are on Windows, use the pip command. If you are on uh, Mac or Linux, use the pip3 command. So I'm on uh, Mac, so I'm gonna use the pip3 command. So pip3 install turtle. It should take some time, but after downloading, so it's already on mine. So I can close this and head over to Visual Studio Code. I already have a file open, Paint in Python. Okay, so let's import Turtle. So import Turtle. Next, let's have a basic window setup. So WN is the variable for storing the screen. So it's equal to Turtle screen. This will give us a basic screen. Let's have a title for our window. So title and the title can be paint nice or paint in python cool next let's have the background color of the window so bg color and uh, let's just have it um white yeah, white is nice let's just make this like this okay um let's have the height and the width like the setup for the window so when dot setup this takes up two arguments basically the height and the width so the height can be of 600 pixels and the width also 600 pixels okay but before running this we'll have to have a main while loop which will handle the updating of the screen so let's just have a while loop now so while true wn that's the our screen and it should update so dot update nice so now if you run this we get a basic python turtle window paint in python but this isn't that interesting because just a screen so now let's just have the paint brush for it so let's just have a total object and let's just name it obj so object that is equal to total dot turtle so to have an object in turtle turtle module you use total dot turtle command Okay, now let's have the shape for it. It takes normal shapes as well as a total shape, but I'm gonna use the square shape. So total dot shape square. Whoops. Square. Okay. And we have also need the color for the total object. So obj dot color. Let's have black. Yeah. Okay, next to make the paintbrush, let's have the pen down command. So pen down basically, if you're familiar with scratch and other languages which you, you can use for making pen down of command or to make paint, is the pen down. It's basically when it will leave a trail behind whenever you are using it. So let me explain that, but first let's run this. Hope we don't get any errors and you get a normal square and we'll use it as the paintbrush so now let's specify the movement of this um of this object so we'll go down over here now have dev commands for dev functions for move up move down move right move left so dev move up so the body or the object can move up so dev move up and y is basically will be the obj's or the objects y coordinate and when and i want to increase every time i press something i want to increase the y value by 20 and obj dot set y and the value of the egg y the y set value will be equal to y mm, yeah y. this is for move up let's just go to for move down i'm gonna write dev move down and like this Wait. move down just copy this the only thing we have to change is the value so this is not plus equal it will be minus equal because we're going down and we can just copy both of this and paste it over here the cheat sheet okay now if i'm gonna move right I want to increase the x coordinate by 20 and I want to set the object's x coordinate by x. 
Same for move left, left. So again, the x coordinate will change the x minus 20. And I want to set the object's x coordinate, um, x value by x. Okay. But this wouldn't help in the movement. To um, to have the movement, we'll use this another command, which will basically dot on key press. I want to execute this function whenever I press the key. So before having that, let's wdn dot listen. The listen co command basically takes in that it's open to all keys that are pressed. So you can press key bindings after this, and then w key wn dot on key press if I if I want to move up so the move up function to move up I will use the up arrow like that and if wn dot on key press if I want to move down I'll use the down arrow yeah next wn dot on key press for the right so if i, I want to move right i'll press the right arrow so which is r i g h d nice and if i want to move left so on key press move left on the execution of the left key okay so we can just check this now if i run this and if i move you see it leaves, leaves a trail behind it which will help us we'll use this pen down option for using as paint but usually we are when you move we only get the black trail we want to change between colors so let's have a menu mini for it okay so above here let's have a menu and that'll equal to so menu will also be a turtle dot turtle object turtle dot turtle okay so from the menu whenever we like choose if i press some other key for example g i want to change the color trail to green okay so now I, but i don't want to make the menu be kind of leaving a train so we use the pen up command so when you don't want um, the object or the player to leave a trail the brush to brush to leave a trail we use the pen up command okay now we want this uh, menu uh, menu bar go to the location of let's say by 0 by 250 so 0 will be the middle of the x coordinate 250 will go on the top okay next I want the menu to write or to show to write if I press blue if I want to leave a trail of blue I will type B and if I want to leave a trail of green I will type G if I want to leave a trail of red I'll type R and so on but for this one let's use B R and G next we'll come again to the on key press thing and on key press but before that we don't uh, we don't have it right so this is just telling us the what what keys to press but this for this um for pressing the keys and then executing to leave a trail behind we'll have to use this one we'll have to write our dev functions for all of them so let's just have dev blue blue okay okay so whenever i press def blue i want to change the object's pen color so this is really helpful when you're using paint it'll change the trail to blue blue okay and obj dot pen down it'll keep the pen down and we can just copy this Command C. Now we have three colors. Okay. So blue, red. I want to change this to red and key down and green. Change this to green. Nice. Now we can type it over here. 
So when pressing on key press, first I would like to execute blue. And to execute blue, well, I'll be using the B key. So B. Okay. Just copy this. Do it for the other two as well. So I want if I want to press red, I'll press R, and if I'm gonna do green, I'll press G. Okay. Nice. Now if you run this, you see we get this little text over here saying blue for uh, for pressing. If you press B, you get blue. So now if you see, it leaves the trail of black. But now if I press B, it leaves the trail of blue, G green and R red but you see if I like want to give spaces behind them I cannot there's no way of me lifting the pen up so let's have a, a function for that and also let's have a function for clearing the window okay this shall be interesting interesting okay yeah now if I wanna if I press clear let's have a function clear all which will basically clear the window clear the window okay clear all and obj open up okay so obj dot clear this will basically clear the whole window up for us next let's have for when you are like when you lift the pen up so if i want to lift the pen up so pen up I want to do obj dot pen up. Nice. Let's come down here. So to execute the um, clear one, if I press, wait, let's just have clear all. And if I press C, it'll clear everything. And if I press, uh, okay, um, press uh, uh pen up now if I press P L the pen up let's just update this over here as well so the user can know about it so to clear press C and to pen up press P nice okay so we get you know, change over that and now I can basically let's have red and make a square nice okay make different shapes with it play around with it but now if I wanna change it I'll press up wait yeah what was the command for clear pen up so it was P okay so if I press P it'll take me up so it's not leaving a trail now and now I'll continue with blue so I can do that cool and again I can lift it up do it green and but now I want to change the window so I can press C cool so that's nice okay so that's it for this video we basically learn how to make a paint application in Python don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye